Hello guys! Flashlight Enthusiast here. So today I would like to share with you my review of the brand new Sofern SP35. This sample was actually sent to me by Sofern themselves. So a big thank you Sofern for, for sending this sample for review. If you're interested in this flashlight, Sofern also provided me with the coupon code which you can find in the description down below. So don't forget to check it out. In the meanwhile, let's show you the box. This is a standard Sofern box you will get. This one is actually from Amazon. So we've got some labels here. But apart from that, a nice clean Sofern box. I really like this design. So let's wait no further. Let's open this up. I strongly recommend doing this from the tail side, let's say, to avoid tearing the box. Alright, so what do we've got here? We've got a Sofern SP35 manual in three languages. So we've got English, we've got German, and on the other side, we've also got Russian. Okay, no Chinese here in this European edition from Amazon. That's right. So the manual. We also have the quality USB to USB C charging cable. So, very nice addition. You can actually charge this flashlight without any external charger. We also get the lanyard and the two spare O rings. So, pretty standard, huh? We got the bi directional clip. Okay, and last not but not least, we also get the flashlight, obviously. All right, so the very important thing is, actually, before you start operating this flashlight, there is this label informing you that there is the insulation fin on the tail cap. So if the flashlight comes with the battery inserted already, then you have to remove this little paper insulation fin that ensures that during the transportation the flashlight does not turn on by itself. All right, so this is the kit version. As you can see, I've got this uh, Sofern 21700 cell with 5000 5, milliampere hours. So this is the highest capacity right now on the market, but uh, I know that you can also order this one in 4000 milliampere hours battery option for a little extra uh, power gain but really it's not noticeable to an eye so I strongly recommend getting the the 5000 mAh version because it will uh, slightly increase the runtime. Alright you can also get it without the battery as you can see right now on the screen we've got the three versions available both cool white and neutral white this one sample that Sofern sent to me is actually a cool white. Alright so let me show you the clip. The clip is actually press fit so a little extra force to ensure that the clip stays nice and tight and truly it does. So right, so it's bi-directional so you can either clip it to your pocket or belt or to your cap so that you can use it as a head torch just like that. It's a very nice addition. The clip is high quality and sturdy so it won't detach from your flashlight pretty easily. And that's good, that's good. Alright, so as you can see the finish and uh, the build quality is excellent as always in Sofern flashlight and this price point. Uh, it is powered by a luminous SSD 40 LED, smooth reflector, very nice centered LED for extreme power of 2000 lumens at the turbo mode. Very well made. Okie dokie, let's show you the UI. So nothing fancy here, simple and straightforward user interface. One click for on, one click for off. As you can see, we've got a battery status indicator under the switch. Green means sufficient power. Below 30% it will turn solid red. And when the power is critical, you will 
see the flashing red LED under the switch. So for 5 seconds it will be displayed after you turn on the flashlight and hold the side switch to go through the loop low, medium 1, medium 2 and high and then double tap for even increased brightness of turbo mode. One click will return to the last memory's brightness and then again hold the side switch to cycle through the loop of four modes. If you're interested in moonlight mode, from off simply hold the side switch to enter the lowest mode. Perfect for low light conditions not to disturb your night vision. Hold the side switch to increase the brightness level and enter the loop of four modes. Again, double tap from any state brings you to turbo one click returns to the last mode used besides turbo one click for off and now we've got special modes triple click it doesn't matter from or, or from on or from off one two three you've got variable frequency strobe mode very disorientating I believe and then double click for SOS mode double click again for beacon mode for signaling and then double click again to enter strobe mode once again one click for off then we've got the lockout mode four clicks from off one two three four and then two blinks of the flashlight followed by the nothing then you know that the flashlight is locked out and you can safely store it in your backpack or pocket knowing that it won't turn on automatically by itself alternatively you can also unscrew the tail cap just a little bit and then the flashlight will not operate until you screw it down again all right so how to exit the lockout mode just as you enter it four clicks one two three four we are in the lockout mode and then one two three four we exit the lockout mode apart from six brightness modes that are fixed from the factory Sofren also prepared something for flashlight enthusiasts like myself in case you don't want fixed modes then you also have the ramping feature something like Unreal uh, maybe not that perfect but uh, I think for this price point and the fact that it is not the Unreal the ramping mode does go very well and I'm pretty content with its operation so how to enter the ramping mode and toggle between the fixed modes and ramping mode modes then you have to turn on the flashlight it doesn't matter uh, which which group you're in and then from on simply four clicks just like for lockout mode but from on state right now one two three four four clicks and then double blink will indicate a change of the group and now when you hold the side switch you've got the increased brightness and then short blink will indicate the end of the ramp the same goes here at the low boom as you can see we've got the moonlight then the rapid increase in brightness as I said the ramping is not perfect but I think it suits the purpose here so I have no complaints there so we've got the moonlight hold the side switch what you will notice is the ramping is a little bit slower on the lower modes and then increases the speed when you increase also the brightness uh, so that's kind of good uh, I believe because you've got more regulation on lower modes and then faster when you would like to increase the brightness more rapidly and obviously from any state you can also double tap for turbo mode click again to return to the previous mode three clicks to enter the special modes and again two clicks to cycle between SOS beacon and strobe all right one click to return to the main loop and once again four clicks to return to the fixed modes UI pretty straightforward and easy to learn interface I believe the flashlight tends to be a little bit unstable on the tails especially when you do not pay attention for proper positioning but moving on to tactical solutions you've got variable strobe and you've got this little crenellated aluminum bezel so in any emergency situation you can also use it as a self-defense tool as the charging is concerned 
the flashlight features the built-in USB-C charging port. It is well sealed by this rubber cover and the cable is also included in the set. So as you will see right now on the screen, the flashlight will turn flashing red when you're charging it and when the charging process is finished, it will actually turn green, solid green under the switch. The charging speed is advertised as 2 amps. Uh, I measured this with my homemade kit and I got something like 1.84 amps, so pretty close to the advertised charging rate. The charging of the whole battery is estimated at around three and a half hours. So it happens guys that actually I also acquired the second Sofern SP35. This one is from the first batch from 800 pieces that does not feature any temperature regulation. So it features the same LED, the same driver, but it lacks the civil version of the advanced temperature regulation that decreases the output when the flashlight reaches 45 degrees so that your hand won't be hurt and the components of the flashlight also won't be overheated. So you wonder what's the difference? All right, so let me show you the charts. So as you can see here, this is the turbo runtime of the ATR version that was released later on. So as you can see, uh, the chart looks weird, but I can assure you that I couldn't actually spot these differences uh, and these ups and downs with my naked eyes, so I don't consider this to be a problem. Uh, the thing is that you can see that the flashlight actively regulates the temperature and does not let the flashlight to be overheated above 46 degrees Celsius. This is the high output chart, and as you can see the fluctuations are even lower. Uh, so yeah, I measured it with my light meter and as you can see we also have some fluctuations but they are lower in volume and uh, the flashlight also did not exceed 46 degrees which is very good uh, as, as soon as it reaches the 45-ish degrees it decreases the output when the temperature lowers to about 42, 41 degrees it increases the brightness again and so on. So actually, again, you won't be able to see these differences with your naked eye, so don't worry about it. But the ATR technology works really well here. And for comparison, I can show you now the high chart of the Sofern SP35 without ATR, without this uh, temperature regulation technology. As you can see, we've got simply flat output, but again, the temperature uh, rises to about 55 degrees so it's it's running 10 degrees uh, hotter than the no than the ATR version uh, but uh, for me it is still the optimal level it does not hurt my uh, hands nor the electronics uh, so on high level without ATR you're still good to go but look what uh, it does on the turbo level actually after about eight and a half minutes we've got 70 degrees celsius and this is uh, actually a little bit dangerous to run at home uh, to give to the flashlight to your kids so definitely not recommending uh, the flashlight without uh, term temperature regulation unless you are a professional and you know what to do and you don't leave the flashlight alone without any supervision so for civil and normal uh, use i definitely recommend the itr version uh, that is uh, temperature regulated, simply said, and still you won't notice any fluctuations with your naked eyes uh, unless you're a cyborg, so nothing to worry here, really. Yeah, another benefit of this ATR is that because the output fluctuates, it also increases the overall runtime of this flashlight. So yeah, without ATR, uh, I've got around uh, 2 hours and 40 minutes, but with ATR technology and these fluctuations, uh, of output I've got around 3 hours and 25 minutes so you've got extra 45 minutes of runtime because of this uh, fluctuations. As you can see size wise is only a hair bigger than the Sofern SC31 Pro with 3100mAh versus 5000mAh battery so as you can see it's not that much bigger but you get a bigger reflector 
and much higher battery capacity. So for an SP35, 6500K, low mode, medium one, medium two high, turbo mode, wow, 2000 lumens, it's incredible. Got nice defined hotspot and plenty of light at the side as you can see, illuminating everything in front of me. Let's go once again, slow, medium, medium to high, and turbo. Very, very respectful output for a flashlight this size. Nice. And now for comparison, Sofren SC31 Pro, 5000K, turbo. As you can see, we've got bigger hotspot, so less throw, and well, pretty similar side light. So definitely for throw, SP35 shines here. SP35. SC31, SP35, SC31, SP35, SC31, cool white, and neutral white, cool white, and neutral white. Alright guys, let's sum it up. I really enjoyed reviewing this little flashlight. The Sofren SP35 is an excellent addition to your ADC. It is quite powerful with this SST40 emitter and the battery capacity is also huge so despite the high output the runtime is also respectable. Build quality and finish is excellent for this price point definitely recommend this one to you. Again guys if you're interested in this flashlight I leave the link uh, with a coupon code in the description below. So as always guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.